Beso. Ang kinaigit. Beso. Hello friends, we're back for another Jojo reaction. Today we're going to be checking out part 6, episode 38, the season finale, right? After this, it's going to be a long wait for part 7, right? So, a, a nice break, I guess. Um, so yeah, in the last episode, the whole party died and for some reason, Emporio! Our best boy is uh, back in Green Dolphin Prison. Without further ado, let's check it out. What the hell do you want? I didn't want to see your face. You think you can just come waltzing back into my life? Don't show up acting all fatherly now. I want to help you. Wait. <laughs> Jolene? Oh, shut up. Do you know damn well you can't pull that off? Two years for a hit and run is nothing. I can handle it fine by myself. Just relax. But they look the different. Time I've wanted to keep that shit to yourself. The last and she has the bee instead of a butterfly. I don't get along with you, remember? Interesting. What is going on? We were just in Cape Canaveral. An alternate reality? And also, for that matter, just when the heck is it right now? It is November 30th, in the year 2011. Pochi? Oh, man. Pochi! We have traveled far beyond that point. With accelerated time, we've reached a place humanity always winds up. The end of the universe! End of the universe. As in life, the ending of something initiates a new beginning. And that is what we call fate. Even in the universe after this, our planet will be recreated and life on Earth will follow the same path that it was destined to. And when humanity comes into existence... What is he even saying? These are some wild the concepts. The Jolene Cujo you knew exists no longer. Neither do Jotaro, Anastasia, nor Hermes. Not even their souls survive total annihilation. And hmm. that is because the dead cannot return. All of those who perish in the accelerated time have been erased forever. I left everyone who ever dared to interfere with my destiny back in the other world. Damn. Oh, except for you, Emporio! Oh my god, how is Emporio gonna get out of this? Or maybe it's a, it's not a happy ending. Let's bounce. Charlene broke out of prison last time too. But do they have stands? It's the same but different. That's fate at work. This new universe has reached this point in time after repeating the same history as the previous universe, and it shall be the same here on. The same room you used to hide in in the previous universe. Your secret room, as it was called. <laughs> the fact that you're going to retreat here had already been decided. Whoa. <laughs> Woo! It's no use. I have to find somewhere other than my room to hide. How on earth did the prisoners wind up in the common area? Hell if I know. Just move your ass. Those cards are from before. They're gonna fall. <laughs> well, uh, it just kind of came to me. I'm not sure why, but it feels like we're gonna fall somehow. Don't Whoa! Tell me you're afraid. Now get moving. You want a pay cut? What the weird. <laughs> For some reason, I know too. Both of those guards are going to. Ooh, run away! Father, hi. Can I help you? Oh. What is this? What the heck is going on right now? We have traveled far beyond that point. With accelerated time, we have reached a place humanity always winds up. The ultimate end of the universe. The end of the universe. I remember reading about that somewhere. In a book on the beginning and end of all things. How could you read something like that? <laughs> and be confident it's real? At one point, it starts to contract. Almost as if you were tightly squeezing a sponge ball. Does this mean that we traveled here from the previous world? We made it all the way to the new 2011. And at a tremendous speed, we journeyed through time as the Earth progressed and evolved at the same rapid pace. But not everyone made the journey with us. That is because the dead cannot return. Dude, our boy! Again, 
The fortunate souls who were able to transcend time have been blessed. <coughs> Those members of the human race who survived have experienced the future and arrived at this new world. The one truth of this universe is that fate will always take its course. And in turn, destiny will repeat itself. When one human being meets another, it is due to gravity. They come together because it was fated to be that way. And prepared allows you to go in peace. Because one's resolution will eradicate all of that despair. Humanity <coughs> will be changed. This is what we strove for. Dio and I fought tirelessly to attain heaven. And now we're finally here. Damn, we're in heaven. Made in heaven is the future. <laughs> but why is he not killing Emporio yet? The ghost room. Even if the smallest of details might go temporio. Your only hope. I do this now for the sake of all humanity. Die, Emporio! Whoa! Weather report. You say fate is predetermined; it can't be changed. In the final moments before weather forecast died, he turned a stand ability into a disc before you landed the final blow. And it's the same disc that Jolene decided to entrust to me. So I've been holding on to it for both of them. Oh my God! That pose. Oh, what the fuck happened? It's weather forecast. One day, I read in a book that the deadliest poison within proximity of any organism is the air they breathe. Oxygen. Every organism on this planet needs oxygen to survive, but the concentration level of oxygen can't be above 40%. 100% pure oxygen is extremely toxic, and any life form exposed to it will perish. Highly concentrated levels of oxygen can corrode iron in a matter of seconds, and you won't be able to stand. Plus, the tiny veins in your eyes will snap and you'll go blind. Damn! You accelerate time all you want. Weather forecast is a stand that can control the weather. I already used it to accumulate a massive amount of pure oxygen into this room. And now you'll slowly lose consciousness. But shouldn't he be on, in the same boat? No, I refuse to let a brat like you beat me. I'm not the one in control here. It was all because of you. Gravity still affects you too. You are unable to defeat your destiny. Oh! No. You have to end this, Emporio! You can still stop weather! Do not let him do this! After I finally attained the ability I've worked so hard for, God wished it to be so! Don't you understand? Fate won, and you are the loser! You insignificant <laughs> I didn't do this alone. Jolene knew I'd make it here, and this is what she would have wanted me to do. Weather too. Oh. Ernest? Anastasia? They're playing Jotaro's team. We had no idea what the future held, but we all had resolutions. Go to hell, you insignificant little brat! What?
We switched worlds again. New universe. Hermes. You got any change? I need to break this 50. Come on! The bus went and drove off because your response time was so freaking slow! She's wearing a different hat. She doesn't have like the Cleopatra shit anymore. Damn it. Yeah, well, whatever. That cheap prick probably thought I was a fugitive from Green Dolphin or something. You... you are... Huh? Hey. Huh? My car completely ran out of gas. Whoa. If you hook us up with some gas and food with that 50, I'll let you catch a ride to wherever you want to go. It's okay. We're not bad people. <sighs> Call me Irene. And this guy here is Anakin. Where's your mom and dad at, bud? We're huh. just on our way to visit my old man right now. <sighs> you see? He's my boyfriend. I don't know how things will turn out, but if Dad approves of us being together, then maybe we'll even get married. Oh. Shit, man. Yeah, me too. To be honest, you doing okay there, little boy? Can you tell me your name? <gasps> Come on, I said to get in. Yep. And I don't expect you to pay us either. You're shaking like a tree. Are you cold? Here. <laughs> hey, look. There's a hitchhiker. Oh, weather. Picking up another straggler. Two is more than enough. You're the one that said there's a storm coming. Come on, stop the car for the poor guy. And they're playing the roundabout. Oh my god. So yeah, I think this is this is the wow. Wow. So the ending is a bit complicated, right? It's a bit complicated. So it seems like yeah, it's it's an alternate universe where the people are still born, but you know, uh, things about their life change, right? Because they're 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 not the same people; they're counterparts, right? Huh. Also interesting how. Uh, weather is alive, but uh, FF is not, right? But I guess FF would be plankton in the sea, right? I guess that's where she would be. Ha, huh. ha. Huh. So I guess in that case, Pucci still won, right? I mean, he didn't kill Emporio, but the the whole, uh, you know. He he still achieved heaven. He he was able to defeat the Joe Stars, right? So I guess he still won. Question mark. Um. Okay, so let's re let's review part six. Okay. Um. Stands were cool, right? Like the the Enter the Dragon. You had like the. The sons of Dio had like very wild stands. The 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 prison break concept of it was really fun. The the Marilyn Manson, the the who's this? J Lockhouse, right? Those are like fun stands. Pucci evolving his stand, right? Very unique concept. Um, like the only the only thing there is i mean even even uh even killer queen killer queen gained a new ability but 
the stand was still the same, right? It was still Killer Queen, but Pucci had three stands. That's that's something, right? Now, if we think about the ending, how Pucci was defeated, right? There were some things there that kind of made me raise my eyebrow because he said, like, uh, Weather took his... Uh, took his stand out and i don't think you, you you can do that i think you need pucci's uh ability to do that right so that's kind of iffy already and you didn't really need pucci to insert the stand like if you remember jolene was inserting star platinum in her head but there's like a there was like a compatibility issue so you don't need pucci to do that and it was just really plot armor, right? Very, very plot armor heavy in the in the last scene there where uh, Emporio versus Pucci, right? Um, that being said, if it was me, right, how would I have wrote that? I wouldn't have brought... I wouldn't have brought um, Weather Report into it. Right. What I would have done, I would have done the same thing. I would have uh, went to the ghost room. Pucci enters, and I would have done something where I would distract Pucci. Like I would say something that you know will give him a certain doubt, right? And then I would escape the ghost room. Now remember. Emporio mentioned that only he decides who enters and uh, leaves the ghost room. So in a way, he's able to entrap uh, Pucci in the ghost room. And even though this was not like an effect, like if I was just writing the show, right? Because the name of uh, Emporio's town is burning down the house, I would burn down the ghost room you know like just destroy that ghost room and anyone who's in there and that's how i would have defeated Pucci. so other criticisms it's similar to part five where we had a lot we had a lot of stand, uh, stand fights but certain characters had limited representation i think the glaring one is who's this? Hermes and Weather. Like these guys had very little to do, right? And considering uh, Hermes is like the the Joe Bro of Jolene, she barely did anything. Like she had maybe two three fights, which is crazy if you compare that to, you know. If you compare that to Okuyasu or uh, Paul Naref or Kakyoin or who's this? Bruno, right? Like, come on, man. So, it's going to be, we're going to be playing the waiting game, right? We're going to wait until part seven. Um, it's been a fun ride, guys. It's been a fun ride. Um Check out the other content I do on the channel. I do check out like other anime. So, you know, since we're done with JoJo, um, we'll definitely continue it once it drops and uh, go from there. We'll still do the all endings reaction after this one. So um, put some besos in the comments if you like the content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.